Hi, welcome. My name is Michael Langdon, and today I'm going to show you how to use a free program called Hijack This to try to get rid of spyware on your computer. Now, I don't know how successful we'll be in this since I don't have any spyware on my computer right now, but I should at least give, be able to give you an understanding of how Hijack This works and how to get rid of programs that you don't want running when your computer starts up. So basically I just go to Google at www.google.com and I type in at the Google search hijack this. Um, it's just one word. Hit enter. And you can just do the trend micro hijack this. The free download and if you just click download now. And it should pop up a dialog box in just a second. Yep, here we are. So then I just click save file and it's saving it. And now I'm just going to double click on this and click run and then install. And I'm going to accept and then it starts right away and what I can do here is I can do a system scan only or I can do a system scan and save a log file uh, but I'm just going to do a system scan only and I'm going to maximize this out and so you can see what we have here is we have a rather large list of all of the items that run or are loaded when I start my computer here so um, one of the things I do is I just go down and check out what each one was. So basically here we have HKCU software, Microsoft, Internet Explorer, main, and then we have my start page, which is basically the home page in Internet Explorer. And then all of these other items are the various start pages or um, search pages or so on. Now I'm going to get rid of these because I don't need them. All I want is the main one. There's also a URL search hook from Foxit. I want that gone. Foxit is a Adobe Acrobat reader that's different than Adobe Acrobat's in that it's a lot smaller. Um, I want to get rid of the Excel well, Google Web Accelerator. So I'm going to check that. Get rid of that and that as well. You gotta have the run DLL. Um, everything looks good there. Adobe CS4 Service Manager. Uh, QuickTime. Hmm. I don't know what this is, so uh, let's. Click info on selected item. No. I can see what I did there. I, I clicked on the analyze this. If you go back here, I selected it and then I said upload to trend secure and then it gave me it gave me this, so but it doesn't seem to be telling much of anything about that. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to check it because I don't know what it is. I'm going to get rid of the Google Update, get rid of Accelerator again. Microsoft Office stuff is fine. I don't need all of these. These are buttons that come in Windows Internet Explorer, which I don't need. Um, I don't need that, I don't need that, I don't need win Windows Messenger. Now I do need all the semantic stuff and the Java stuff. And if you don't know what something is, uh, you basically want to look at that there, the FNP, like licensing service. And if I come back here, and I go google.com, and I go FNP licensing service, which you can see right there. 
Um, So basically, it's a licensing service for Adobe Acrobat. If it doesn't work, um, if it's not running, then it won't. Adobe Acrobat won't work. So uh, it's up to you if you want to get rid of it. You can if you don't want. If you can if you don't want it, but otherwise, you should leave it. Um, so, but basically, what you're looking for is a companies that are actually naming. So like here's Semantic, here's Acresso, here's Alex Feynman, here's Sun Microsystems. You can see that they're all name their software. So if they you have a piece of software that shows up in uh, Hijack This and there's no company attached to it or no information about it, that always is a red flag. The other thing you want to watch out for are basically randomly generated names of computer software or programs that are installed and what I mean by this is that you, sh you notice here like this one's NV SVC 32 and this is sound service basically they all ha are like an acronym or an abbreviation whereas most spyware and most viruses most worms when they install onto your computer they generate their name vis-a-vis a randomly generated name so you would see like names like LZQ115 you know a name that has doesn't seem to make any rhyme or reason or isn't an abbreviation or an acronym so those are the ones you want to be careful of now over here I have these ones that I want removed check so if I just click fix checked it's gonna remove them and that's okay Okay, so now let's say I go back to the main menu and you know I close this out and I shut down my PC and I restart it and uh, I remove something that I shouldn't have removed. So what I would want to do is come back up here. Um, let's go hijack this. I'm going to pull this off onto the desktop and then double click on it. Well, one of the things I can do is I can view the list of backups. If I click here, you can see that all the items that I just removed are here. So if I check them and then click restore, it will restore them and I can reboot my computer and they will still be there. They'll be back. So that's one of the nice things about... Um, it's one of the nice things about uh, Hijack This is it actually backs up what you remove. And what you're doing is you're really removing the item from the registry um, but you're not necessarily removing the program itself and so what you want to do is you want to go when you do a scan you notice that it gives you a path statement here so C program files fox at TV foxy DLL you want to use this to find this file right here and delete it if that's where your spyware is okay my name is Michael Langdon, and if you have a question, you can reach me at help at learningengineer.com, and I hope you enjoy this video. Bye.